All right, welcome everybody. Vitai Dubin is here, founder of Bitcoin's Boss Club, and I'm super, super excited right now because we have my good friend Caleb Wright right now on the call, who is a professional trader. And, uh, you know, the opportunity right now to really learn how to capitalize on the cryptocurrency trading is amazing right now. In my opinion, this is the most exciting way to grow your wealth in Bitcoins because you've seen how some of the coins, like Bitcoin is the major one of them, has grown, grown in value from just a dollar in 2010 to $2,700 right now, which means if you invested $1,000 in 2010, right now you'll, you'll be a multi, 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 multi millionaire. You know what I mean? And uh, there are other coins like Ethereum. If you invested a dollar in 2016, you would have been sitting right now on $300,000. I mean, the opportunity right now is amazing in cryptocurrency space, how some coins can rise in value by two times, five times, ten times, even sometimes by ten, by a thousand times, you know. So uh, this really brings a, a very interesting uh, situation where everybody kind of is hungry for this information. How do I be, how do I do this? How do I enter the this market? How do I trade those cryptocurrencies, these old coins? What the value of the crypto? coins is why it goes up in value i mean so many questions people have in their minds and at the same time you know they see how maybe some friends or they they've read about stories how 18 year old kids you know they, they, they started doing trading i saw a, a youtube video the other day how a guy turned twenty seven thousand dollars into nine hundred thousand dollars you know and we are sitting right now uh with a man who actually has been doing this stuff for the last three years and he already crossed well well beyond half a million dollars this year in 2017 so he definitely knows his stuff he knows how to do this he knows how to trade on cryptocurrencies and this is the skill that you can really take with yourself because you own it a hundred percent control you know once you learn this stuff once you have those knowledge the proper knowledge and the skill set in this area you write your own ticket. You can really live a Bitcoin's lifestyle. So I'm super excited about this interview right here. How are you doing, Khaled? Doing great, man. I'm excited to be here on the webinar with you and be able to spread the knowledge of this life-changing industry and how the, you, know, you all can interface with it to profit like I have. You know, because there's so many of these kind of uh, programs out there that's trying to get your Bitcoin these days. People want to manage your Bitcoin for you because they realize how great this opportunity is and uh, they don't want to put in the work to learn how to trade themselves or or they don't want to put in the work to get their own money for some reason. They, so they come up with programs to get your money and it seems like about 90% of the time out there, most of these programs are not really working. So like, I'm just so excited to put the ability for you to be able to be in control of your money in the process of participating in this industry and getting the most out of it that you can. Basically. Right. And most people are, they are afraid of this, you know, they are kind of beginning, they're intimidated about the whole thing. They, they think it's, it's very complex. It's very complicated, you know, but, but I really think you're striving to, to make the complex, make it simple. So everybody can, can really do this. So we have a lot of people uh, tuning in here. We have Troy and Dennis, Monsek, Kathleen, Sharon, Leslie, Joy, Louis, I mean, a lot of people uh, give a shout out right now in the chat, uh, put a comment in, you're able to hear and see us live. I'm super excited because we have a lot to cover right now on this live training with you guys. So firstly, Caleb, you know, uh, give a little bit of a, of a backstory of, of where you have started with, with Bitcoins. I mean, what really drove your interest to, to dive 100% in, to learn this stuff, to learn trading? I mean, where it, where it really, where was the passion, where it, where it comes from? Well, I kind of discovered the whole concept a few years ago, getting involved with a uh, particular altcoin in the market that had like a program behind it. And there's an educational type of program. Like a lot of these programs out there these days, they use a uh, kind of education as a lure to get people in and start learning about this industry. And, you know, education is so important, but it's important to get the full big picture. Fortunately, that organization that I was involved with was actually about putting good information out. Um, so, it was, so I was lucky. And I just kind of really embraced this industry because I had the vision for its potential. 
you know, having obviously when once you do the research and you learn about a bit of the history from 2009 when Bitcoin was first accepted and this whole this whole new financial market was first accepted, um, you see this incredible potential there where it's created so many millionaires and multimillionaires, right? Uh, based on the early adopters of the new technology, you know, the same thing that if you look back a little bit. Uh, further back in history, you look at the, the 90s tech boom and the dot-com boom, um, you know, that made, that's the first area where really technology made so many millionaires from the people who had a vision of, uh, you know, seeing with these new technologies and companies come out with these new technologies and do the internet uh, and you know, either having the vision themselves or just very wealthy people just trusting their uh, financial advisors managing their money for them, being like, these are the new things, this is the future. Kind of we similar to how, how internet has developed, right? In, in the early, uh, like in the late 1990s, in the early 2000s, like everybody started jumping on the internet, but it was like a new thing. Like <laughs> the same thing is happening here with Bitcoins. We have early adopters, we have the crazy guys, you know, the, the first, the, the, the advanced technological guys, the programmers, and then more and more widespread, more and more people, you know, starting doing Bitcoins. Then more millions of dollars uh, poured into the startups, Bill Gates and Richard Branson and others started investing heavily into this. And then more application, you know, started to, to pop up. And now we see a booming industry where basically they, they try to give as simple as possible for everybody to use bitcoins to buy anything that they want with bitcoins to you know uh to to make it mainstream basically when people can go to a grocery st store and they can buy some uh, groceries you know for their grandma with bitcoins that's the direction we are all moving at and uh, we are right now correct me if i'm wrong i mean we are still in the stage where we are just about to enter more mainstream. We are, you know, the awareness is going up. It's the, if you go to Google Trends, Bitcoins is like hot, 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 hot right now. Uh, but we are still like in the, in the early adoption phase. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're past like the infant toddler stage of the industry. And we're, we're, we're kind of into the starting to grow up a bit stage. Um, you know, not, we're not like quite a teenager yet, you know, um, this industry. Yeah. And I was so excited when I first started really getting into this a few years ago, Bitcoin was only between two and $300. And even at that point, you know, and going back to what I was previously talking about, Sam, how I was seeing the potential when I first got in, even at that point, I was like, wow, Bitcoin, you know, it's two, $300 a coin. Like you start off at cents and this is things already gone like to the moon. This thing's already gone exponential. And I was, uh, you know, purchasing as much as I could at that point anyways, because I did believe it could go further because it obviously from the 2000, from 2013, it had come down an awful lot down to that point. So I just invested, invested everything I could. I even borrowed money over the past couple of years, as much as I could here and there to get into Bitcoin um, throughout its rise. And so the, what I was looking at even then when it was two to $300 a coin is that, okay, I see there's this whole altcoin market and these other coins with new technologies, new innovations um, that are going to come into the fray, that are in the fray, and they're growing in this competitive uh, market, and they kind of represent um, certain strategic coins in this market. Not all of them, okay? There's a lot of coins in this market, right. but certain coins in this in this altcoin market represent a second opportunity at that Bitcoin wealth that most of us missed because. You know, yes, I'm very blessed to have got very heavily into Bitcoin between the two hundred and six hundred dollar mark. Okay, now look at us now. We've hit a almost a high of around three thousand this year. Yeah, to borrow as much money as they could when the price of Bitcoin was two hundred dollars, you know. Yeah, I just had a feeling that borrowing was gonna turn out really well for me. And you know what ended up happening is that through that, finally this year. A lot of this, uh, part of the trading in the cryptocurrency market is fundamental research, fundamental analysis and market research. In addition to the technical analysis, which is what you use in order to determine like entries and exits and make profits and for uh, short, mid or long term, there's fundamental analysis slash market research, which is 
where you're looking beyond just the price structure and price history, but you're looking at the team that's developing the coin, you're looking at the innovations that are in the coin to be in the coin, the roadmap for development of the coin. Um, also, you can get an idea of just how bullish you can be on this coin for being successful in the future, because the future cryptocurrency market globally, the size of the coins now, but it's only really going to support 10 to 20 major players in the future. So it's kind of like our job right now to determine who those players are going to be. So that's what I've been doing over the past uh, few years since I discovered this market and I've been uh, invested and traded in, in all the right uh, places and, you know, constantly on the lookout with my uh, private day trading group that runs 24 seven, where we analyze and scan the market and be in the flow of information for whatever opportunities may come along. Um, yeah. of that sort, while at the same time making sure to be constantly uh, growing the positions in what have already been determined as the uh, successful high volume, high value coins. Yeah. We're, we're going to talk a little bit okay. a little later, uh, more about that uh, stuff. Now, I think in you know the the Bitcoin itself is going to go up in, in the future even more in value. I mean, people say. Next year it's going to be six thousand dollars, and in ten years it can potentially go up to hundred thousand dollars. Your your it does grow. Okay, I was really you know I heard at the beginning of this year they were saying that Bitcoin was going to reach three thousand by the end of the year, but we we already touched three thousand or just under it before the halfway point of this year. And there's so many things that have happened in the world to increase this mainstream adoption, like Japan going mainstream this year, Australia going completely legal, uh, India is is basically going to be coming online. Online, they're they're going mainstream. The two Russias uh, all pretty much declared that they're uh, they're they're creating a lot of regulation and going mainstream with it for 2018. These are huge masses of population entering into Bitcoin. Uh, so many of them even complete newbies. Um, we're, we're, we're getting closer to the stage of the average Joe of Main Street starting to invest in Bitcoin. Now, that's where things can really start to go exponential with Bitcoin and the all-around financial market of altcoins is when just the average person on the street, I'm getting bringing closer and closer to that more. You know, I'm so, the, the way that I'm so into it, it's maybe more natural for more and more people that I personally know in my life to be getting into it because that's what happens when people see People having success, they gain interest in what it is that you're doing, and uh, especially when it comes to uh, investments in the markets, and they want to take part. I, I agree with you 100. percent You know, we're just getting started, and it's not too late to, to jump on a on a Bitcoin bank wagon, and definitely not late to mm -hmm. to do cryptocurrency trading because it's actually super booming right now, and uh, there is a lot more opportunities for you to grow your wealth. Uh, by investing in some of the other coins and see them grow. Now, what, what are some of the results that you've been able to achieve over the last uh, months and in, in a couple of years? Right. Yeah, it's kind of building up to that a little bit um, just through uh, my story there. And so basically from January moving forward, the cryptocurrency market, it, many of the assets, that many of the key assets that I've heavily positioned in um, really took major steps upwards. And so between just that, the uh, strategic long-term holding seeds that I had built in these certain assets, as well as the uh, amounts that I've been using for the short-term trading, um, in just a couple months into the year, my account has already been fluctuating the million dollar uh, value area, um, basically between 500K and the million dollar area has been a fluctuation for me closer to the million dollar mark um and this this is just what i see as the beginning because yes like vitaly says we still have an amazing window of opportunity here not just with the potential of bitcoin but with these altcoins and many of these altcoins are still great deals to get into that provide you with so much uh leverage and what i see moving into the future here is year by year this kind of process is going to happen. It's a cycle of the markets, uh, kind of a boom bust cycle where uh, the assets, they take a, they take a high, they grow, they take a high and they come back down, they settle, but to a new higher low of buy support. And many of these assets coming up, they'll, they're kind of having a similar kind of price market rise, rise in the charts, 
So other assets that have succeeded in, in, in the history of this market, like Bitcoin and Ethereum, it's a cycle, it's a, it's a boom bust cycle of growth. And so basically each year that goes by, all these assets are gonna take new higher levels, not all of them, certain key ones, are gonna take new higher levels in their growth. Like the older assets that have succeeded, like the Bitcoin, the Ethereum, now entering the Litecoin, uh, Ripple Fallen, Footsteps, all these major players in the market. Uh, top volume, top traded coins, just to name a few. Um, and there's other coins that are following in their footsteps, but just way lower in value. Um, and so, okay. yeah, that, that's pretty much how, where I, the track that I'm on at the moment is one that's basically the cusp fluctuating in and out of a millionaire and then moving toward multi-million dollar status because... Uh, ask a question real quick, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you want to have an asset of over a million dollars in cryptocurrencies? Just type it in the chat box. <laughs> I want to see your comments come in because the more excitement you're going to give us an energy, the more we're going to, to share and train to today. So who is excited? Who wants to actually be a millionaire and owning an asset over a million dollars in cryptocurrencies. Let me know right now. <laughs> so this is very exciting, Caleb. You know, um, definitely uh, an industry that is booming. Like, what what is in your in your opinion? You know, why it's the most exciting uh, way to to create wealth for yourself in, in in Bitcoin? What is the huge opportunity here? Well, what there's a lot of things that I really love about it. One is uh, the speed. I wish that you can make money is just with the click of buttons and the movement of the markets. And once you get leveraged enough into the market, um, this can start to become your main way of income. Um, I think it's important to be diversified in incomes. You know, this isn't the only way that I make money, but this is the biggest way that I make money. I like having other ways of money as well because. Um, it's, it's just great. You can never have enough sources of income, you know, and then also it gives you ease and, and calm in your trading. You don't have to be like number one dependent on the trading to make your income for now, because what you really want when, when you trade, if you want to trade for the long term, I think my personal strategy is to tap into the investments, to pull out for your life, to pay for things as least as you possibly can. You need to do what they call HODL, but hold on for dear life or keep it in the mix for trading is depending on which uh, stacks of money in your money management strategy that we're talking about. Um, but the longer that you can keep the money in the crypto for the growth, the more growth you're going to get and have it available also in amounts for short term trading. And so that's that's been one of the biggest keys for me in this whole early growth stage that we're in, rising up to when this really is becoming mainstream, this market's just become so much higher, and we don't have the same volatility. In the future, we're not gonna have the same volatility in the market that we have right now. And volatility is what gives us trading opportunity. Volatility is the market moving up and down. Volatility is when the market doesn't just stay stable and in a stable line or with just, dilating movements that are kind of smaller and doesn't give as much of a trading opportunity. So that's another thing in this window of opportunity that we're in. We can still tell that we're in a, just an amazing time right now because we still have excellent market volatility on these growing altcoins. I mean, even in Bitcoin, there's people out there that are just strictly trading, day trading Bitcoin uh, with money management strategy as well. There's so many options out there you can do. There's arbitrage options between exchanges where coins are at different prices. And then, of course, it's just traditional trading. Um, but we have it's a uh, world of opportunity. We have a lot of people saying they want to be a millionaire. We have Susie, Sharon, Rafal, Troy, Bruiser. Uh, I want to just acknowledge all of you guys. Uh, it is, it is awesome that uh, this is your intention. Everything starts with intention. So uh, to summarize this this part briefly, you know, why it's, why it's such a big deal in, in the huge opportunity, there is still a bunch of uh, place for, for growth for those coins. And you can have some of those coins, there is uh, a, like your money can go a long way. I mean, you can buy tens of thousands of coins, even millions of coins. And when those coins rise in value, you know, by several times, by 10 times or a hundred times, you can basically make a hundred times on your money. You know, the key is really to understand um, what coins to buy, when to buy, how to sell them, how to do this, 
you know, what's the whole strategy about it, which is uh, really what we want to talk about uh, right now on this webinar. So, you know, people are thinking and asking, you know, is it really like like a gamble uh, with, with Bitcoins? I mean, what are some of the uh, risks involved? Uh, I mean, is it something that uh, it's like a casino, like you go and you, you put your money on some coin and then you kind of pray that uh, it's going to turn up well, or is it there is more of a strategy to this? No, it's definitely a speculative investment, which it is, it is somewhat of gambling. Let's let's not deny that fact. This is this is somewhat gambling, but there is strategy. It's kind of it's kind of like poker in a way where you have you can where you have some amount of an ability to control your fate with the choices that you make given the cards that you are dealt. Um, which the cards you are dealt are the market that's in front of us. And uh, your ability to leverage that is whatever money that you have, and and so in that there's there's more detail, more strategy in how you can get invested. And that's where the market research and the fundamental analysis is so key. Because there's a lot of people out there that will be just getting into cryptocurrency. I've seen this so many times. I even did it when I first started because you know that's the best way you learn. You know, I've been, I think of anything in life is by going out there and getting experience, and that's how I learned as well as putting in extra diligence to learn from so many sources, all the sources I could find as I went to become my mind the ultimate compendium of knowledge in this in this industry. And so, what I see the mistake that so many newbies make is they just jump in, they get their Bitcoin, they go hit the exchange, and then they just look at it like they're kids in a candy store. All these thousands of coins. Look at the names. You know, people will be just investing in coins for the name of the coin, okay, which is a total mistake. Maybe you could get lucky, okay, and uh, maybe a pump will come along, especially on a lot of these coins that are what we call low volume. There's a low volume of trading coin. There's like a low amount of Bitcoin, total Bitcoin that's traded in that asset for the day, like maybe 10, 20, 50 Bitcoins, 100 Bitcoins worth, 100 Bitcoin might sound like a lot, but a lot of these top assets that are out there, I consider more of a mid-volume coin to be anywhere from 500 to 1,000 Bitcoins worth of trading per day, and a high volume is going to be in the thousands of Bitcoins trading per day, usually at least. Um, the high, Some of the highest volume coin I've seen out there for Alcoin has been Ripple and Ethereum, which I've seen trade as high as 30 to 40,000 Bitcoins uh, in a 24-hour period, probably a little bit higher, actually just really crazy like bull moments in the altcoin market. Um, so the mistake is to avoid is just to come in here and, and uh, either not do your own market research or to just listen to other people out there that are making suggestions that maybe they haven't done the market research. Maybe there are just marketers out there that have you know learned some limited information. They're just newbies too, but they're already making recommendations. It's good to do the research yourself, but also that's what I've made the kind of a lot easier here with this course and community because I've not only have I supplied my own market research that I've done on a lot of the coins that I'm trading into the course as an additional uh, asset of information you get in the course beyond the, the training of how to do the market research or how to do the, the trading, different trading strategies and technical analysis strategies that helps you to determine what you're going to do for trades analyze the market and where you're going to enter and exit and all that and make your profits are set for long-term seats for uh, more long-term growth and learning about money management. But yeah. uh, the key is, is that you'll learn how to do the market research. You'll learn the proper places to look online to, um, to search about, to, search, to seek out information about a particular coin. Say if somebody mentions a coin to you online and wants you to kind of get into it, there's going to be people like that. And it's always good to do your diligence to see if that coin's even traded on the exchange yet. There's a lot of people out there pitching coins that aren't even traded on an exchange yet, a public exchange. Um, and sometimes those are uh, ICOs. Uh, I know we're going to get to talking about that a bit later. I'm getting ahead of myself. But those are investment opportunities. Then there's what I call the network marketing ICO. And I think I've made that term up myself. I don't know if anybody else uses that. But that's where a coin has like a network marketing company behind it and they're promoting a coin. I consider that kind of an ICO of a network marketing style. And then there's what's called fair launch coins. That's where coins are mineable and tradable from the outset that they become available. And, and uh, sometimes there's a period where they're mineable first and then they end up on the exchange at whatever value they start out, which is really super, super low. And uh, that's actually where I've made 
Uh, most of our money is in fair launch points. Launch uh, points? Yeah, fair launch points. Yep. What is fair launch coin? A fair launch coin is basically when a coin is launched to be available for mining. Sometimes it will happen first. That's where people, miners, they have their mining equipment set up uh, and they can point that mining power, their rigs, at different coins to mine every single day or whenever that they want. They can point their, at certain algorithms, they can point their hashing power and they can accumulate uh, coins. And so fair launch coins, oftentimes if it's not both, that they'll be mineable and tradable from the outset. Um, a lot, many of them will be mineable first and then they'll get accepted onto an exchange like Bitrex or Poloniex and become tradable and grow from there. Now, if you can figure out the fair launch coins early, when they're early in value, um, that's where a lot of money can really be made because usually they have some really, when they grow by you, they have some really, uh, the right ones will have just strong fundamentals that you know, they'll never go back down to that value again um, where they started. And so you get in yeah. early on those and get some of that early growth. And so even when you get into something that is, uh, you know, fair launch coins, you got in on a fraction of a cent and it just goes to, say you got half a cent and it goes to 10 cents. You just went a 20 X game. Or 20 right. cents is more like a, I think, 40x at that point if you're in that half well, a cent. Yeah. So it doesn't take much to get an incredible gain. You put a Bitcoin in at something that's half a cent, and it just goes to 20 cents, and you just made 40 Bitcoins or something like that. Wow. Okay? wow. Now, that can really change someone's life pretty quickly, being able to make an amount of money that fast. Like some trades that I've made this year has been, on average, um, a few K to 10K to 20k to 30k has been some of my biggest profits in just one trade uh, this year. Because as as you as you trade the market, you're going to build up, you're building up, but you're also positioning for these larger gains that can really change things for you. Because once you get one of these larger gains, you can multiplies your Bitcoin, and it gives you more ability to be able to get diversified and see the right opportunities for uh, trading. Also, it just enables you to get your claws into the market more widespread. Once you have more money, of course, now that makes sense. Um, and implementing a proper money management strategy and doing that does too. And uh, that's the only thing I provide as an example in my course is how I'm kind of managing my money stacks um, so that I don't lose on coins. Say if I'm trading a coin, I don't have a leg to trade 100% of what I'm holding because uh, it might like go up, it might go up, like it might just soar after I sell those coins. You know, and then if I'm not holding like a little bit over here as well, and I have a little bit of music for trading, okay, then I can make sure I experience the best of both worlds, not to get too deep into that. But there's definitely trading, the strategy within trading with money management too, to make sure you don't miss out on big gain when you're just making like some small gains there and there. You want to be set up for the big boom, the, the skyrocket, the, the launch. Yeah, that's that's the, that's the, that's you, you know, yeah. uh, being able to uh, turn a Bitcoin into 20 Bitcoins, that, that's like... Vitaly, I'm having a hard time hearing you for some reason. I don't know if the mic is moved to the side or... No, mic is, mic is fine. Um, I'm saying that it's really, uh, really awesome for uh, for most people to turn one Bitcoin into 20 Bitcoins, you know, uh, by doing it, investing into a coin, like you said, uh, a fair, um, whatever you call it, I don't know, but... Fair uh, launch coin. Fair launch coin. Um, where, where it's just maybe a half a cent or a cent per coin and it can go 20 times in value or you're basically 20 times on your money. It's life changing. And, um, I know you work hard on creating a, a whole course and training that you put like, uh, over 70, uh, video modules and really created something awesome that, uh, we're going to be share with you a little later on. But, uh, somebody asking here, uh, how many of the cryptocurrencies you actually own? you know, that turns up into your uh, portfolio for a, for a million dollars? That's a good question. Um, and I don't even ever like keep track of the total number of cryptocurrencies that I currently own at one moment. Um, but that's a good question. You know, that's like keeping track of how many videos that I've put in the course, you know, I gotta keep checking. Um, but I do, I have a bunch. I know people that have more than me because there's a couple of different strategies. Okay. There's like some people with the like to invest in like, like hundred of them, like a little bit, you know, I, I'm more, I'm a little bit 
And that, that's actually a strategy that can kind of work. Was It's a little bit more casino-ish. For me, I've, I've been a bit more strategic, and I like to identify these powerful coins that get involved in and get positioned like in a serious way, strategically at multiple price points as I see the market move. So I have holdings for that long-term boom, and I have holdings for the uh, for the short-term uh, tradings. And uh, so in, in terms of what makes the bulk of that portfolio value, um, I can think of that kind of off the top of my head real quick. And that would be within uh, probably four coins, probably about four different coins that I'm majorly positioned in that I had uh, researched as what I would determine that what I had determined or had a vision would be top players in the future based on what they're doing. No question in my mind. And I heavily invested into those coins at very nice low points. I actually near their all time lows um, over the course of the past like year, year and a half. I caught their all time lows. I had been, I had been investing when they were like a little bit higher and I watched them. There was like a slump last year in the cryptocurrency altcoin market where just like everything went like down, down, down towards through like December and January. And uh, thing, and I invested in things a little bit higher that I'm still learning more, learning more the technical analysis and the right entries and figuring out what the market's gonna do a little bit more mid to long term, understanding the seasons of the market and all that, everything I've come to a much greater understanding now. But it turns out that even the coins that I purchased that were a little bit higher in value and I watched them go down to their like pretty much all time low where I bought more and more. Okay. That makes sense. You know, you can't a lot be of fearful. fearful. Can't be I, I, fearful of the market when you see opportunity when it goes down. That and the assets that, you buy more. That's very encouraging, Caleb. You know, because uh, uh, it, it doesn't take you owning a million different coins in order to get there. You just need to have mm -hmm. several that will go really well. And another really good point is that uh, sometimes people make the mistake of they're they're investing in a coin where it's high. You know, and then they sell the win slow. That's that's not a way to make money. That's a way to lose money. <laughs> you know. Yeah, exactly. You never want to sell at a loss. That's I think in this whole in all these years, all the trades I've made, it's a lot of trades. Um, there's probably only like one or two where I cut a loss that was just small. You know, someone did the money back. And those both of those times I did that. If I was more patient, I could have ended up in a massive profit rather than playing with fear. So uh, that's an interesting thing, you know, and, and, and I also mentioned there has been a, a couple of coins where I've lost money. They've gone away. OK, that can happen. That's why you want to be careful. Those are called my newbie mistakes from when I first got going into a couple of wrong assets. You know, um, it's interesting, though. I've had some I've had some lower volume assets that I've purchased and I've waited just like five, six months and then they go boom and I make like, you know, I have like a Bitcoin in them and it turns into like, you know, seven, eight Bitcoin. So it's, um, but those are not where you want to have a bulk of your money. That's a more speculative in the lower volume areas, a little bit more gamble, more risk where you can have some nice and high reward. Sometimes it takes time, but uh, in an overall portfolio strategy, it's important to be thinking big picture and long term have a larger proportion of your money i think to have a certain proportion of your money in the top coins that are out there like the proven coins of the industry top what i call uh top volume or high volume slash high value points okay and and then you have the uh low value high volume coins these are like the coins that represent a huge leverage opportunity because they've kind of proven themselves in the market to where they have a high trading volume, even though they have a low value. When something starts developing a high trading volume, low value, something's got to give at some point in the future. As, as long as its underlying fundamentals are very strong, you've identified through market research that the things kind of go up. Okay, and uh, and so that that's something. And then there's the more the higher risk, uh, lower low volume, low value uh, coins where. Um, you're looking for some gems that could move their way into the medium to higher volume, um, and with that, a nice so, little. Let's make, it, let's make it a little bit more 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 practical because a lot of people they are just uh, wondering like how they even get started. You know, right? What are, what are some of the places that people can go 
to to get bitcoins and maybe you can share your screen and, and go to one of the exchanges and, and kind of like show people okay this is where you get the the, the coins you know yeah. just bear bear with us one second um because i want you i wanted you guys to uh to see how the the coins are um uh, you know are are, are getting live <laughs> so here is polonix right uh, Caleb? Yeah. all right let's see here and so this is the uh, Poloniex exchange here. And this is a place where we trade a lot of cryptocurrencies. And then we also have Bittrex. These are the two main exchanges. Um, Poloniex is uh, kind of a higher volume trade exchange. Um, coins kind of have a much higher volume here um, mm -hmm. than Bittrex. Bittrex does have a pretty, these are the two top volume exchanges of the industry. Just comparatively, Poloniex is higher volume. Bittrex is a bit lower volume. Um, there are more coins on the Bittrex than they're listed on the Poloniex exchange. Yeah, there are coins that are listed on both exchanges. And, and those are typically the high volume, high value coins. And some of the medium volume coins. And then there's going to be like low value, low volume coins that are unique to each exchange. So there's some trading opportunities that are unique to each exchange. Let me go to uh, the area, we'll show like more of the coins here. There is a lot of coins. <laughs> I, I, I saw in coin, coin the market cap, there was like almost a thousand different uh, cryptocurrencies <laughs> yeah it's incredible man i think there's like i think there's like even more i think there's like a couple thousand or a few thousand out there um but of course cryptocurrencies they come and they go every day um you know there's coins that fall off these exchanges like every few weeks you know bitrex or poloniex will have like a number of coins that just get dropped off because they have too low interest yeah um meaning that they have very low trading volume and the exchanges make their money off of the trading of the coins the little the little fees for each trade there's a little tiny fee doesn't really accumulate too much five for years 0 0.15 percent uh, the the exchange gets for every trade that's how they make their money yeah so you don't really notice it but when they have like m millions of people that are trading you know they notice it like that's a huge that that's a huge income stream, you know, because you know you got people that are making hundreds of trades, you got millions of people that are making lots of trades, you know, that's going to really add up. So that's how they get their money. Um, these exchanges so that, uh, that you, you click on this uh, percentage change uh, on this column of uh, of percentage change. Uh, when you click on that, we're going to see there are some coins that that grew up in value uh, lately. Right, like this one, Idni Agros, right? 233%. Uh, this is in the last 24 hours, right? Yeah, this one seems to be pumping pretty good. So, Agros, so I may need to do some research on this and see what this coin is about. What, what, what reason and value you think? Like what what might what what happened, what might happen that a coin can suddenly go up in value like this? Because I so, see that change is pretty pretty drastic yeah i mean we're looking at fundamental uh analysis so like fundamental like news events there's there's a couple of things that could do this okay there's either there's a pump and dump group okay um or there's fundamental news event that's happening and it's making the people that know about this coin excited and go invest in it um go trade in it or cause uh, people to pump it up a bit, basically. Right. And so this is actually a pretty good volume right now, 2,000 Bitcoins. I'm not sure what it's been doing on average because this one is kind of, uh, I don't know as much about this coin, but I'm, I'm interested to look now and learn mm -hmm. a little bit more about it and see why is it at this value here, 51,000 Satoshi, which is actually a pretty, that's a pretty good value. It's like, it's like five times the value of Ripple, for example, which is a coin that I have no doubt for the future because of uh, 
it's really strong fundamentals. I, Igni Agaris, I'm curious to do a little research in some of the right places online and see why that it's here at this value. You know, see if there's see if there's some logical reasons for that that I can find. If I can find logical reasons and I start to become interested in this point, there might be something behind this point. You know, you don't know. And so you see these things happen and it might give you ideas for market research to go look further and see what's what's going on with this coin, you know? Right, right. Um, so you say uh, 2,330 uh, Bitcoin's volume, it's uh, it's in the mid range or, or high range? I, I would say that, and especially, I'd say this is like, it, it's exhibiting high volume right now in 2,000 Bitcoins for in a 24 hour period, especially on Bittrex. Um, right now, this is the third volume of coin trading right now. Um, Ripple's actually down a bit. It's like 726 coins, uh, Bitcoins in the past 24 hours. Now, if we look comparatively, look at Ripple here, it's 1,726 Bitcoins for the past 24 hours on Bittrex. Let's go over here to uh, Poloniax. I'll show you. In the same period of time, Poloniax has done 5,060 Bitcoins worth of Ripple. XRP is Ripple in the past 24 hours. So you see it's done double um, the volume as Bittrex. That seems to be the trend um, between these two exchanges. So when a coin is on both, you'll see that on Poloniex, it's a higher volume. So right. high volume is good because it gives you liquidity. You want liquidity in a, in a coin market because that means that there's always buyers and sellers and you'll be able to you know, get in and out of the coin easily. That's that's another reason why we love higher volume coins as opposed to lower volume is that that's where the risk is less because you don't have to wait for buyers to come along and push the market up into where you were trying to sell. You don't have to wait like as much time. It's like kind of constantly happening within ranges. And so that's why we really like these higher higher volume in a coin. Right. Uh, so th this is a coin you would uh, definitely consider doing the uh, market research on uh, because of the volume and how it's uh, been uh, changing and what's the whole excitement about. Like uh, people are investing a lot of Bitcoins into into that coin. <laughs> yeah, so this is a coin that like I might go over into my private chat group on Slack and mm -hmm. mention or someone on there might have noticed this too, and they'll mention, "Hey, does anybody does anybody know anything about Idney Agaris?" And then, like, some of us will start looking into it. But hey, look at that! We did some volume today, and we'll start taking a look into it. And if there's anything interesting, we'll talk about that in our uh, market research channel of the group. Um, and if any of us start trading, and we'll start talking about, you know, our analysis, looking at it, and the trades that we're making. Um, in the uh, trading talk channel of the group, it's kind of analysis. Like, is, is it something that you're just basically go on Google and start like reading a bunch of stuff about like YouTube videos? Oh, what about what people say about this coin and stuff like that? Or is there something that goes more more in depth into uh, doing that kind of market uh, research? Because I know you are you've been doing uh, market research analysis for uh, every uh, coin that you majorly uh, invested in. Exactly. So I actually have like a checklist of areas that you can go look into this coin, which includes certain uh, certain forums online where they have excellent, uh, you know, Bitcoin slash crypto community um, using Google in certain ways, using uh, using Google Trends um, can give insights. Um, Looking, looking at, looking for official websites and communities of these coins. Uh, looking for their Slack chat group communities. Um, mm -hmm. Just a, just a few things that I could name off of areas where you would go to dig in and find more information and get get an idea of the pulse of the life of the coin and its community. Uh, I, I think one of the one of the important things is. Um, to to have a, a platform, a really solid platform for the coin and a community around it. So there's people engage into this and there is a community around it. There's a platform, right, for the coin. Yes. It's a good indicator. That's so key. That's so key. Community uh, gives, gives a coin 
uh, legs to grow, you know. Just, just to understand, guys, um, an exchange like Poloniex and Bittrex, it's very simple. You open an account there. Uh, it's a simple process. You just go and you deposit some uh, Bitcoins there. And from the Bitcoin, you can then go and exchange and you can basically trade and buy other cryptocurrencies that are listed on that exchange. And then at any point in time, you can uh, you can sell them at the current market price, you know? Uh, stuff like that or, or like over simplistically speaking you know it's it's a simple process um to uh, to actually get involved into uh into uh getting some of the coins right the the thing is to is to understand uh your strategy behind this like not just randomly and blindly buying coins <laughs> on yeah, and, the, and also when you find a coin that's good that you want to get into don't just buy it right then like Look at the market for a little bit. Get a feeling for the market. Uh, leverage the chat group um, and talk and get an idea of what other people are thinking about the market, where the good entry might be, and and wait for the good entry, or determine if you need to enter. Then at that point, if it is at the good entry, um, rather than just going in blind. And another another thing, I also and I talk about all this in my course, but just drop a little gems here is that when you when when a person is getting into a new coin. Um, or getting positioned in a coin, I always say don't don't put all the money that you would like to invest into a coin. So you determine a certain amount of money that you would like to invest from your overall budget, and you want to invest this certain amount of money into a coin. But don't just invest it into that first position, that first price area that you find that okay, I'm going to make the entry here. I'd say divvy that amount. It's money management strategy, so portion it maybe use a third or one half of it and then look to see if the market maybe you are wrong maybe the market is going to go down more and give you a better price now there you have some funds ready to get in and lower your cost average on your coin entry downwards rather than doing the all for one uh one for all strategy where you put the whole pot in and then you're waiting to take a profit so then maybe if the market is trending lower you uh, get your cost average down. Um, so being strategic with the money that you're using is so key, as well as being strategic about when you enter a coin that you've discovered you would like to get your money into. Right. So when you click on this uh, in, in, in Agoras, for example, coin, you're going to see, click on that for a sec, um, Let's say you have some uh, some Bitcoin in the in the Bitrex uh, exchange. Basically, what you would do is you would say, okay, uh, what's the current market price? Is fifty four thousand uh, satoshi right there on the top? And you can just say, okay, I'm, I want to buy, you know, with all the money I have or a portion of the money, and just get in the coins. There is the on the left side. There is buy. You see the buy button buy Idni Agoras and on the right side there is sell. So this is as simple as that, you know, um, to, to, to do that uh, kind of trade. So just I wanted people to understand that the, the technical side of uh, doing the trading is easy. <laughs> it's, the, it's, the, it's the strategy behind this that is uh, way more important, you know. Uh, speaking about that uh, strategy, you know, there, there's, there are some, some main buying strategies. Uh, like there is the pump and dump. There is the short term. There is the long term. How, do, how do you think about that? Like different strategies that well, you have. At that point? Pump and dump is basically like what you're looking out for in the market. Is you're looking for coins that are pumping, and you're looking for when they're dumping, and you want to be purchasing before they're pumping, and you want to be uh, selling portion for profit when they're when they pumped up but before that they've dumped and after a coin's done a nice dump that's when you want to be buying so you want to be thinking like the opposite of the masses which is so classic when people talk about investing and trading that you think and act the opposite of the masses when people are being fearful and the markets dump down and they're being fearful and they're selling that's that's when you want to be finding that key opportunity to be buying the right entries to be buying and when people are uh being too too hopeful and and and, and uh and when everybody's buying 
that that's when you want to be selling, especially when things go exponential. That's when you want to be selling because things always correct. And uh, and so those those are key aspects. And 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 like Vitaly is saying, um, you know, this whole aspect of using the exchanges. It's, and, and even overall, none of this is exactly rocket science. I think it's all within the capability or grasp of anybody with a, with a good mind and, and a willing a willing to learn mind to come in and learn. But the videos I've created in, in the course basically take you step by step um, through the function and the use of all these things, whether it's getting the Bitcoin into the exchange and, uh, and how to do the trades and use the different functions and charts and things within the platform uh step by step easy for you to learn and get that down so you can get onto learning the more important stuff the training strategies um the technical analysis that helps you to determine you know uh looking at a coin uh long mid and short term to see what your entries are going to be for that coin but right. i mean at the most basic uh most basic look at it if you're buying low and you're selling high and you're thinking the opposite of the masses in order to do that and repeatedly rinse and repeat right um yeah i, I agree with you 100 percent that uh, it's it's not complicated for uh, most uh, the majority of people to uh, to do this stuff they just need to uh to be willing to take a little bit of time to get uh, familiar with those platforms you know uh, if, if I could do it, you know, I, I'm so far from being a trader. I can tell you that, guys, I'm, I'm more of a of a marketer and, uh, you know, some something that I want to educate or, you know, I'm, I'm less of a technical analysis guy and trader guy. So for, for me to take a look at this, you know, initially I was like scared, like, oh, my goodness, you know, what I'm what I'm what I'm doing, I have no idea. But when I get um when I start getting educated myself about this, I saw this is really not that, that difficult at all to do. And uh, it, it takes a little time. What are some of the tools that you that you are using, Caleb, um, you know, in your uh, in your training? I know you have like a CoinGinji uh, tool that you are using. Some of the advanced strategies, I know you're teaching that as well, right? Yeah, so I have, uh, I teach to use this platform called CoinGinji, which is like the best, uh, kind of charting platform that's out there for the cryptocurrency market. And it gives you a lot of good options to look at the market. Like this is a chart of USD uh, trading against Bitcoin right here. This is actually what's called a depth chart, which can provide you with an interesting view of the market. The green side here is all the buy orders that are lined up. And you may notice that there's these little vertical lines coming down. It kind of uh, shows you where what are called the sell walls um, or areas where there's a lot of buy support that could be sold into. Like this key area right here at $2,510, there's quite a bit of buy support here for Bitcoin. Um, you can tell that then it kind of tapers down um, and the buy support kind of tapers down weekly at the 2512 area. And then the resistance is the red part. These are the sell orders that are built up for Bitcoin. And uh, you see that really the resistance is pretty heavy around 25, 24. So Bitcoin may fluctuate um, in the short term between 25, 10 and 25, 24 with the $14 range. And then you also, you see it shows the buy walls here with these vertical lines on the red side. These are the key areas of resistance. You see this vertical area that means there's a right here see where I put the cursor, that means there's 129 Bitcoins it takes uh, of the market buying into the sell side um, for Bitcoin to rise to 25, 25, dollars It would take 106 Bitcoins to get from where the market currently is, which is right in the middle of these two, which is like basically about 25, 18. That's a, that's a supply and demand right there. Uh, a lot of yeah, this is supply and demand. And so you see, wow, someone just bought into that. See that? The yeah. green just bought right into that. So it looks like there's some good buy support that uh, hopefully it'll eat right through this wall and then Bitcoin can actually have an easier path to grow to 2,600. And then so down here on the left, you also see what's interesting is it will show you um, the price of the Bitcoin and then how much 
quantity worth of Bitcoin is available at that price. Well, the buy side is how much Bitcoin is available or how much money is worth is a USD 25 is available to purchase at that price. So when there's, there's a one Bitcoin's worth of money um, at the 25, 24 price. And you can scroll down it and it'll give you an idea of like the, where the buy support is like right here at 25, 10 to 75 Bitcoins worth of buy support. Um, and that would be this area right here. You see that this kind of wall right here. And so where I just identified that down here, you can kind of scroll down and see the lay of the land and same thing with the sell side. If I click here, it'll take it to the main uh, charting area where we can uh, do, do things like we can draw trend lines change the uh let's see we've got an hour chart right now i'm going to change it to a one day candlestick chart for a little bit longer term overview taking a moment for it to load here what's wrong with that and then do it again Let's refresh it basically coin eg you can connect it to any exchange and uh and uh you can uh like it gives you more uh, tools and charting and uh, different things that you can do within this uh, platform. It's a little bit for, it's a little bit advanced. Um, obviously, you're teaching this stuff uh, too. Um, so just so you know, this is um, uh, the real uh, the real deal here. <laughs> Trading uh, um, with this uh, Coinigy uh, like give, gives you so much uh, different tools, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean. So I'm just kind of drawing a trend line right there for, for Bitcoin. A couple possibilities here. I might get one starting link right here. You need multiple points to really make a trend line. You need at least three points. So that's a trend line starting from right here. One, two point, three point. Then we have four or five points. It's, Right now, it's toying with staying on this trend line. If Bitcoin stays and grows above this price mark, this is like the bullish trend line right here. And if it breaks further down, we could be going into bear into a bear market. But right now, in the past week, we've been looking at uh, Bitcoin has kind of been on the cusp of like moving into a very confident bullish zone. And it's looking like it could. We, we we wanted to, and if it does, then we could see higher price levels of Bitcoin. Of course, we do have that fork coming up for Bitcoin on August 1st, and if that goes successfully, we could really see much higher prices in Bitcoin coming within the next uh, couple of months if that all goes very smooth. Um, but yeah, that's just for an example. You can draw trend lines. There's all sorts of cool tools that you can uh, look at. Um, and, and use for technical analysis um, on this Coinigy platform. And uh, it's about, you know, it's a, it's a cheap cost and you don't have to start out using this. You know, it's like 20 bucks a month, 15 bucks a month. But once you start having success in trading, you know, $15 a month really is nothing, you know, to be able to have like the best tools available to you to be able to analyze the market because you're getting so much more information with this charting platform than you're getting with like Bittrex, which has kind of like pretty basic charting is a pretty basic chart no real you know you can kind of get some tool to try using it, it doesn't really work the best um Poloniex has slightly better charts um it gives us a, some some better indicators it also has a depth chart down here. The depth chart is much more detailed on the uh, Coinigy, but you can get by, and, and I didn't use Coinigy for, for a long time, and you can get by just fine using just the exchanges, but when you want to take it to another level, Coinigy is definitely recommended. I have a training in the course that takes you through all the like aspects of Coinigy that you're going to want to know about, the tools and and uh, features and stuff. And you and you can just use it as a charting application or you can also hook your exchange up to it and uh, you can trade directly from uh, Coinigy. Um, but I don't like to do that personally because from my research uh, in this industry that to use a program like that, you have to connect through what's called API. And that's been a weakness. That's been a weakness for hacking um, is through APIs, and I want to do everything I can to protect my accounts from being hacked. 
Um, and so I'm just not interested in using a third party program to connect into my exchange to then let me allow, allow me to trade through that platform. I'd rather trade direct on these platforms, Bitrex and Poloniex. It's going to be the absolute safest experience. Um, there was a, looking back at this Idney Agoras chart, I did want to drop you a little value on this because I saw something when I moved it to the one day candlestick chart. Now that's where each one of these candles on the chart represents one day. Okay, so let's just see a little bit further. Uh, it gives us a little bit long, longer term perspective of what's happened with this coin. I'm going to go to like a, an even longer chart, like a, like a one, let's go to a three day chart. Okay, so it does look like it started here. This might have been, now just look at this chart. This might have been, uh, this very likely, unless this coin entered the market on another exchange prior as a fair launch coin, this might have, there's a good chance this might have been an ICO coin. Um, an ICO investment coin, initial coin offering, which is where initial coin offerings where people invest in a coin before it hits the market. There's like an investment stage and then it hits the market. And what happens is it, in that period when it first hits the market, there's going to be people who make a lot of money, the people who got in early on the ICO, and then they're going to cash out like on the first instant that it hits the exchange and the value goes down a lot. So it enters, it starts at a high value. And then it goes down, down, down over a period of time. That's something that a lot of ICOs do, I've noticed. Most ICOs seem to launch with a frenzy of buying and selling in the beginning, which drops the price way below to whatever that the ICO investment stage like said that the price was supposedly was based on the number number of investors and amount of money invested. And uh, and so then over time, you can see since 2016, this coin has really come down. It came down to an all-time low in, uh, Mar in March of this year. And for some reason, now it's skyrocketing. So I would assume there's probably some sort of fundamental news events that started happening after this all-time low where it starts growing. And then now it's really doing this kind of exponential thing over the past two days. It's just two days ago, it was just at 14,000 Satoshi. And now it's, in, in a, yesterday it went up to 30. 4,000 Satoshi came back down to 30,000 Satoshi. And then over the course of this past 24 hours, it's risen again. So you see it, it just the other day, it rose like more than double. And then, it, and yet another day from that point, it rose almost doubled again. So if you were in like just a couple days ago, you could have really just increased by like five X if you were in this. So if you were like kind of, seeing maybe you found this coin like earlier like how much you found this coin earlier like oh man look how high it was maybe you found it earlier this year like oh man look it's kind of low here do some research on this coin see what's going on you know if it's worth like getting a little bit maybe um that's one thing you're looking for is after coins have gone up a lot too that you want to wait until you get into those coins you need to find them to settle back down sometimes it takes time you know like there would have been buy sell opportunities on this, but you would have had, it would have took some maybe some patience, you know. Right. Um, but and then, well, it's risky when you start in coins that that are that are higher. They just reached high points. So like you look at this and you want to stay far away from this right now. Like it's just gone up so much. The last thing you're gonna to want to be thinking is, oh, let's go buy some of this. Look, it's skyrocketing. Next thing you know, it's probably gonna come down and start settling down and. You know, do do something like it, like it's done in the past. You know, like go goes high and then starts settling down over time. Except for who knows how high this will go right now. Maybe this has more life in it, but it looks already exponential to me. Let me move it to the one day chart. Oh, that's a, that was a three day chart. All of your question, guys. Just so you know, um, Don Rafal, uh, Troy, and, and all of you guys. Uh, and you mentioned ICOs, man. You know, initial coin offerings. This is a very exciting thing that um, basically before the coin actually launches into the Bittrex or Poloniex exchanges, the open markets, uh, the, those companies, they offer you to buy the coin at the cheapest price possible uh, at that time and um, allow it to, to use the money to grow the platform and the community until it builds up the value. And then one day it can hit the, uh, the, the open exchange. And this is where you've seen probably happen with this coin where uh, you may be holding a bunch of those coins and then it hits the market and then you sell those coins in the open market and you make a, a big profit. And I know that some of the coins on ICOs, right, they collect, I mean, they are, um, there are some of them that are really, really great investment opportunities. There are other coins that are uh, 
they're never going to hit uh, the open exchange and people will be stuck with those coins for well, uh, forever. <laughs> well, when it comes to ICOs, they usually have an agreement pre-set up that it's going to hit the exchange by a certain date. Okay. And so on that date is when the, is when the selling frenzy is going to happen and there's going to be some fewer people that profit. There's going to be, and there's, it's going to be, yeah, definitely fewer people that take the major, the major profits. There's going to be some that take smaller. There's going to be some that like didn't really have trading experience and just held the coin and they're getting totally screwed. And they may end up just like when they see how far the coin goes down, they may just start selling it like right here. You see this major spike down. People probably just got sped up and are like, oh, we're dumbing this coin, recoup our losses, go invest elsewhere. But in this scenario, there was enough buy support where it bounced all the way back up, but then just continued its downward slump. So whatever they sold in this range, I guess they were fine for a while, but they would have ended up being, uh, for the most part, right, um, considering uh, this is actually still a lot higher than anything it ended up slumping down to. It would take a couple of years for anybody that held the coins to get back to their previous value if they didn't sell in, in yeah. any of this upper area up here. Which can be kind of dangerous, I guess, you know, because you want to have money available for trading. You want to have your money in assets that are actually grown. You want to be in at the low points. And so, like, with the ICOs, it's really important to take profit, I think, when you if you do invest in them pre-market and to take profit when it initially comes out and look for them to slump over time. There's only been one ICO I've seen that's been quite remarkable. Um, that was Zcash and uh that one was just kind of crazy. There was points where that one was trading for multiple Bitcoins per Z coin or Z cash, but uh, it did eventually start going down a lot after some days of weird trading like that. It did go down considerably to what would be much better uh, investment levels. And anybody that was crazy enough to hold on to coins purchase at that price, you know, they lost a lot of money. Um, but then there's like, a, like for example, there was another ICO recently by the, uh, I don't know if you, Many of you know of Firefox, the browser Firefox. Yeah. In the company Mozilla. And yeah. so this guy kind of formed like a superstar team with like people from other companies like Facebook and, and some other notable companies. Formed a, they formed a team for this coin. Right. And, uh, and the coin's like, it's based on like a new web browser called Brave and yeah. led by this former lead developer of Mozilla. And so this really got a lot of hype behind it. And this ICO, when they opened it up for the buy-ins, the ICO ended within five minutes. Um, and it, it did millions of dollars, mil millions of dollars worth of investment of money invested into the ICO um, before it launched the exchange. That one's called actually BAT on the exchange. It trades on Bittrex. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's interesting things that happen like that, but even that one went down a lot and it's still kind of going down now. And so those are kind of like, it gives me ideas for future investment. If you don't get positioned in the ICO and then profit off it nicely there, and then just look forward to the future for its all time low to get a little bit of exposure in it. If it really does have some really awesome stuff about it, you know, like, uh, Zcash or BAT or whatever, a couple of the ones that have, that have turned out to. Well, Zcash probably turned out to be a good deal, I guess, long term. That's a pretty solid coin. And that, it really still has to prove itself, but it really has some firepower with who's behind it and uh, what they're doing with it is quite innovative. So, you know, it's an idea. It's an idea for the future. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, um, sound of trouble. Yeah. I can't even be smart about, about doing this. And that's what I love about uh, uh, what you created. You know, you are, are all the time on the market. On the market what's happening with the market, you're researching, you're in the community, and uh, you have points that you've already done your uh, market research and analysis, you've seen what's happening. Some of the coins are, you know, hold, you know, buy and hold kind of coins where you, where you buy a coin and uh, you're hold it for several months, um, you know, and then, and then you wait until the, the price is going to definitely go up. And uh, part of the uh, membership that you have there with your training is that, you're doing this research and you're telling people, okay, those are the coins to buy. Okay. I've done my research here are the coins to buy, go and buy. I mean, it's, it, it's not, it, it's, it, it, it's not getting any more complicated than that. I mean, it's, 
you know, here is the coin, go get and buy the coin, hold it, and then sell it later on when the price goes down. That's that's one of the one of the big things that I love about what you've created, the uh, collapse. So maybe you can take a moment and uh, we're going to get into all of your questions, guys, in just a moment. But, um, you know, show us a little bit about what you've created. Uh, let me know in the chat. Do you want to see? I mean, do you want to learn the skills? Do you want to see what's what's what actually you can learn with this stuff um, and, and how you can take advantage of all of the cryptocurrency? Let me know right now in the chat. And, and, and yeah, show show us what you've created, Clip. All right, great, yeah. I also wanted to just throw something in. You were mentioning before about possible, how simple the strategy can be. Also on these coins that we're really liking, that I've done the market research on, we're like, yo, these are like amazing, you know, long-term opportunities. Those same coins, while you can be positioned long-term, you can also be positioned with amounts of money for short-term flipping. And so you can be, uh, confidently positioned with those trading positions because you're so bullish on those coins for a long term it's really nice to also trade them short term so you're positioned in two different ways on coins that you just really love for the future for your position for long term and your position to make those short term active profits so you don't have to wait like longer periods of time to make profit because you have your longer term seed that will make that really big profit over a longer period of time and you have the ability to flip and make short term profits but uh just to move on from that, though, I've moved over to the back office of the Bitcoin Lifestyles Club course here that I've developed in actually on the overview section, which has a syllabus, which uh, goes over all of the things that I've put for training uh, into the course that I've developed for somebody who's even the complete newbie who's never touched Bitcoin before um, to be able to get into it um and learn about the blockchain learn about bitcoin uh learn how to how to get it and set up their first wallet and secure it properly and uh get set up on the exchanges secure them properly and how to use them and always step-by-step -step tutorial videos it's like 17 different videos that you, that you all uploaded there right about, excuse me about 70 different videos that you've uploaded there yeah, towards towards that number, basically around around 70, 60 to 70 videos are in this course uh, right now with actually more that I have planned to be made as I have more content planned. Um, but uh, basically, this is like holding your hand to take you through all the stuff that all the functional stuff you need to know. And then you can learn at your own pace, at your own rate the stuff that's really gonna make you a lot of money, which is learning how to do the analysis, the market research, and the, fun, the fundamental analysis and the technical analysis. So I'll, I'll just go through uh, some of the things that you would learn in the course. Um, of course, tutorials on the different Bitcoin wallets. You know, We're going through the basics here. Um, learning Satoshi value, which is the measurement of Bitcoin value. So like over here at the exchange, you're seeing these numbers here. And it's like 0. 0.000064, you know, like that's that's Satoshi value in eight place decimal number. And this is like kind of like new information, new territory to a lot of people to understand this. It's like Greek or something. And people are like, oh, how much is that in cents? How much is that in US dollar value? Well, it's important to understand like how the market interfaces against the US dollar and how the, all these altcoins interface with their value against Bitcoin, which is called Satoshi value, because then you, that starts to open your mind up to how that this money is made and how we have so much leverage when we're not only just holding Bitcoin, which has its value growth against the US dollar, but when we're trading in the altcoins, which have their value against the Bitcoin and actually provides us with the potential for double pumps in value um, when we're holding those altcoins and Bitcoin goes up and those altcoins go up against Bitcoin, we're actually earning twice as much money as we would be as if we were just holding Bitcoin and Bitcoin's going up. Right. It might right. be a little bit complicated to get that, but that's, that's taught fully in the Learn Satoshi Value uh, training. Um, you'll learn uh, all you need to know about those numbers and uh, how you can uh, perceive them to make money with them. And then of course we go through the fundamentals of crypto trading 
with an important video to watch before you go through that, where I'm going to give some important points. But then I'm going to take you through security fundamentals. Uh, I'm going to talk about managing your emotions when you're trading, how to read the Japanese candlesticks and charts, uh, take you through just day trading basics and fundamentals, take you through risk management strategies, uh, example money management strategies that I use with my balances, like I'm telling you about long-term seeds and short-term amounts on same coins. So you're using strategy, you're having a game plan. It's important to have a game plan with the market so that you can maximize your profits and minimize your losses and, right. uh, and, and maximize your ability to take advantage of opportunities when they come before you. And uh, then I explain a dynamic of how when Bitcoin goes up surging and outcoins go down and vice versa. Um, also finding support and resistance levels. This is the fundamentals, the basics beyond the, uh, um, the getting started basics. Then we're getting into a little bit more intermediate stuff right here in the fundamentals of crypto trading. Then I have training specific to each of these exchanges, Bittrex and Cloniex, that takes you through how to register and secure your account with two-factor authentication. Um, just an overall overview of each of these platforms, right. um, how to right. deposit the coin, how to buy and sell from the order book, and how to place strategic buy and sell orders. Over Poloniex, we get a couple more options that you learn how to do, like how to use stop limit on, on your trades, stop limit orders that can be used to minimize uh, loss or set to sell it, uh, take profit in certain areas, um, certain this is something certain traders like to use. Me and a lot of my friends in the crypto market don't actually like to use stop limits um, for certain reasons. Um, because I find that stop limit can often be a stop profit. And I like to be more patient with my trading. But uh, everyone wants to know how to use all the tools. And so uh, some people like to use this. And so the trains there. Then you can also do margin trading on Poloniex, which is where you're shorting the market. So you're gonna teach you how to short the market of an altcoin, okay? That's that's where you're profiting, you're gambling, you're betting on, you're at a certain price point in a coin and you're betting that it's going to go down. And when it goes down, you close your trade in profit. Um, but you can also lose your complete amount uh, that, you, that you bet on that trade if the market goes in the opposite direction a certain amount, then you'll lose all the money that you put into that trade. So it's, uh, it's another interesting way of trading that's very popular because you can make money when the market's, uh, you make money on uh, when the market's going up and you can make money in when the market's going down. And, and uh, I guess in traditional uh, trading and just the buying and the selling of the asset, which is uh, the meat of what we're all doing here, buying these coins low and selling them high, you know, at the high points, you're looking for those high points to take a profit, not with 100% of the balance, at least with a certain percent of the balance. You can take a certain amount of profit or regain your seed or whatever it is. Look for that next opportunity for it after it hits the peak to buy more low. Or the other thing people like to do is just short the market, which is where you didn't actually buy the coins at the low first, but you found a coin that reached a high and you're done some analysis, you're damn sure that this coin is going to go down. So margin trading, you're actually borrowing, uh, you're, you're actually borrowing the coins kind of off the market in order to sell them. You, know, you have the passive uh, swap lending. You can actually lend the coin uh, on the exchange, and uh, people will collect the interest. That's pretty cool. That's right, and you're actually lending to the margin traders, who are the ones who are borrowing for the leverage to do to do their shorting. And so you as the swap lender are completely protected um, by the rules of how margin trading works. You always get your percentage, whether that that margin trader wins or loses. So this is a way that you can park certain amounts of money in, in a primary top volume coins that are available for margin trading and swap lending coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Ripple, for example, I think Monero might be one. Um, you can just park money on the exchange and let it gain daily by having uh, lending offers that people can keep taking up. And you can gain a small percentage per day doing absolutely nothing, just keeping the money parked there. Um, the fundamental analysis, what creates value in cryptocurrencies, how to do your own market research, 
um, which is uh, pretty cool that you are basically showing, you know, how to how to go about yourself and, and doing your own analysis of, of a coin yourself, uh, whether it's uh, something on the open exchange or ICO, initial coin offering, which is pretty cool. Exactly. And then you have the technical analysis, like this is like more advanced, right? For people that want to really uh, dive deep into this. Yeah, this is where you can start at your own pace, becoming an advanced trader doing things like what's mentioned here. I also want to make sure you didn't you didn't forget how to trade Bitcoin against the USD Tether. That's a thing that Poloniex offers that actually allows you to day trade Bitcoin against the dollar, something some people really enjoy to do. And it, you could do so with low fees on the Poloniex exchange. Um, so that's, that's, that's cool. But yeah, with technical analysis, um, I'm taking you through the Coinigy I got a tutorial on Coinergy here, the crypto market charting platform walkthrough slash tutorial. Then I'm taking you through understanding the market cycles theory and then showing you how it plays out in the charts, how to identify fear and greed in the charts, which helps you to understand the climate of a market and uh, how you can be profiting, how to identify continuation patterns with ascending triangles and bull and bear pennants. Um, how to identify reversal patterns with double tops and double bottoms. We're starting to get into terminology here. And uh, how to identify reversal patterns with head and shoulders. So a couple a couple things on reversal patterns. Um, you know, and uh, how to use a Fibonacci retracement tool. Um, I have more coming along. Uh, I have a handful of more videos coming along for this technical analysis section. Next one coming up is actually going to be how to use Fibonacci uh Extensions tool on um, Fibonacci retracements is uh, kind of when you're looking at a market that's peaked and you want to take a look at uh, and, and then it's come down and you want to take a look at where it could possibly retrace up to so you could short the market. The bottom line, guys, you know, uh, you're probably looking at this and like, oh, my goodness, <laughs> you know, there's so much stuff here. The thing is that you don't need to, you know, know and, and watch every single video before you actually going out there and and and, and trading cryptos and buying cryptos uh, you can just basically take the market the research that the uh, collab is already has been doing and buy those coins and you can stay close to the to the group and um and 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 you don't need to you don't need to go into the advanced stuff because for me you know i'm looking at this and probably a lot of you guys as well you're thinking in your head right now where is the money, Khaled? You know, can, can you can you share maybe a, a couple of uh, success stories? Maybe somebody that that have taken this uh, course of yours and they, you know, uh, they they've made money. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, you're you're right on you're right on the spot there. Um, you know, just toning it down from what I was just getting into because you do not need this uh, technical analysis stuff to get in here and start making money. Um, you know, just come in here and, and uh, using the market research and getting positioned on some coins. You gotta, you gotta start somewhere, man. And you can't, you can't start all the way on the advanced level. And and a, a lot of this stuff, I made a lot of money before that I learned like a lot of this stuff and started implementing it. So start, you don't start small, you know. Start something, you know. Get get in the yep. game. That's the most important part. Get get in the game. So that's that's, that's it. it. That, that's it, man. And and, uh, and it doesn't have to be a full time thing either. You don't have to to be successful with the markets. You don't have to be at your computer every single day, twenty four seven. I teach you things like how to use a mobile app for tracking price and uh, getting notifications of when price moves to certain areas on these assets. So then you can be aware and going about your life and, and vacationing or if you're on the job or whatever it is, your responsibilities or whatever you're trying to do. This doesn't have to like be hampering your life. This can be enhancing your life because you're making money. You can make money from wherever you are and be able to manage the trading of it just through your mobile phone, you know. And and, uh, right. and so that's key. You, um, but need, think, uh, mm -hmm. tied, you don't need to be tied up and looking at the charts and like being all the time, um, you know, kind of like twenty four seven uh, watching the different coins. Uh, you can you can set up like uh, mobile uh, alerts, you know, and stuff like that to to um, get you an indication, okay, maybe it's 
maybe it's time to sell, you know, different things, but definitely you need, you don't need to be glued to the screen. So you have, you have several uh, people that, that have, you know, that you have some success stories. Um, yeah, that's what I was going to get into next. I just wanted to just, you know, add a little bit of value to where you're going there to show people, you know, this doesn't have, this is, this can only be, it only has to be as complicated as you personally choose to make it. Um, and you can keep it simple. Okay. Um, here on BitcoinLifestyles.club, um, I actually have a bunch of testimonials down here. You can review down towards the bottom with Facebook comments. And uh, you'll have some people talking about their results here. Um, I have uh, one particular friend of mine, uh, Luke, who had – and I have, I have a few examples here um, of people who have come in and just done some pretty remarkable things. Like I have my friend Cedric. Okay, I'll start with Cedric who uh, came in with 30K and within a month and a half, he had over 100K, okay? I have my friend Luke who came in with 0.4 Bitcoin and within two months, he rolled that into over 12K worth, 12, 12, 12, uh, over 12,000 USD worth of value. He went from 0.4 Bitcoin to over 12,000 to five to over five figures. Um, and like, that's like pretty life changing for him. I have this interesting post here on my Facebook. I think I can find quickly where he just mentions about how it's pretty much like changing his, uh, his life, um, being able to make money like this because he's, I was having like conversations with him and he's like telling me about, you know, he like works on a farm, you know, his family has like a farm. And, uh, and he's into like agriculture and stuff like that. And, and like, he's like, you know, there's things that they need where they could really make things like a better experience on their farm. And he's like talking to his dad about, you know, certain, how they could make certain improvements and things they should invest in. And then his dad's like, you know, yeah, that would be like, you know, great and everything, you know, but like, you know, who's going to pay for that? And it's like, and Luke is, and Luke is telling him, well, uh, don't worry about it. You know, you aren't going to pay for anything. <laughs> you know, okay. Luke is uh, able to do good things for his uh, family. You know, his life is changing. He's making more money than he's ever made before in his life. I've had people who have been lawyers for the past uh, 20 years who come to me on the private message and ask me about, you know, for more information about what I'm doing because they see that me on a regular basis with some of my trade results coming through and really – what, what I've done um, in the past couple of years with my personal financial growth, I'm making money uh, faster and more easily than they've ever done in 20 years with such a, you know, a student highly regarded position as a, uh, being a lawyer, you know, or a, or a doctor, you know, it's uh, pretty nice. incredible. Nice. Um, I've received comment from people over the past couple of years before I even developed the course when I, uh, I, I've developed the, the group, the trading group, the private trading chat group over, the, over this past uh, couple of few years here, and I've received comment so many times from people that just being involved in my private chat group that, uh, you know, they've been in position for profits that they would have not been in, in position for um, if they had not been involved. You know, in the flow of the information that comes through there, uh, daily, you know, I don't know if you have any comments on that while I look for this post. I'm almost two. That's beautiful. So, so you have people that, that make potential amounts of money from, from this training. I know yourself, you are, uh, you're definitely living yeah. the lifestyle you can take and travel wherever you want. And, uh, you know, with the, uh, some of the people that were asking how you can cash out, you can easily cash out all of those, uh, uh, tradings, um, that, you know, the, the profits that you make, you can turn them back into bitcoins and, um, and then the bitcoins you can cash out using any of the debit cards that are available. We can talk about that in, in a moment, but it's really cool to see, man, that you are living the lifestyle, you know, um, like it, like, like you, uh, like you, uh, created this, uh, this train bitcoins lifestyle, uh, club, <laughs> which is uh, kind of kind of cool because it's really you can you can live a, a freedom lifestyle uh, with bitcoins if you understand those things if you uh, you know imagine like 
investing a thousand dollars into something that turns into uh, fifty thousand or a hundred thousand. You know, it's uh, it's pretty 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 substantial there um, with the with the trading, and it can definitely uh, happen for you over the long term. You can also learn how to, you know, make uh, smaller gains by but more steady gains. Uh, you know, as you as you go along. So it's really awesome to see, man, that you have so many success stories of people that are implementing this stuff and they are uh, making amazing results, you know? And, and I think you, the, the price that you have put on this, it's really, uh, uh, it's really low. I, I mean, the value the, compared to the value that you give, um, it's, it's like 0 0.1 bitcoins to, to get this training. It's, it's really, uh, an amazing, uh, deal here. It's amazing value for for all the value that you provide in the, in the course. I mean, it's, uh, it's incredible. Yeah, man. I mean, my goal has been, I know so many people out there are selling courses for, I mean, I've seen, I've seen, uh, the whole gamut of range of prices for different courses, for different things and trainings online that promise to help people, you know, what they learn, it's going to help them make like lots of money and become very successful. And I, and, in different areas that aren't even directly in regard to taking money, uh, directly managing it yourself and, and, and growing it with the markets, you know, whether it's different social media trainings, people are selling for 500 to a thousand dollars or $2,000 or coaching sessions that people are selling for 10 or $20,000 for, you know, however many, uh, how, however much time, you know, there's, there's actually people out there that are that are doing that that charge quite a lot. You know, and I wanted to position the pricing of this course so that it wouldn't price people out, so I could help change as many lives as possible by getting people in touch with the information about this industry and these markets and how that you can interface with them to profit, like like I have. While we have this amazing window of opportunity here. And uh, I did find the post with my friend Luke Jones here that I was talking about, and I'll just kind of scroll to the images here and read them to you, okay? Just so you can see how how that this guy's life has changed uh, by getting involved with Bitcoin Lifestyles Club. Um, let's see, we're talking. He says, "Yes, sir. I'm over 11k. Was at 12 today, but I withdrew 1500 for bills, and he made 700 back already." Wow, that's amazing. But remind me, how much did you start with and how long did it take? You know, I saw the opportunity to ask him that right there. So he started with 0.4 Bitcoin at around $500 and in six weeks to five Bitcoin in around eleven dollars to $12,000. He invested a little bit more here and there, uh, about 0.1 BTC here, 0.1 BTC there, and only about in total 0.7 BTC to get himself up to that five BTC, so most of it was through the trading, not from his further investing with outside money. Um, wow, that's pretty amazing, man. Would you say this is a new skill you've picked up that's like printing money faster than anything else you've ever done before in your life, trading crypto? He says, yes, uh, LOL, I have been searching for my breakthrough for five years, barely surviving with a wife and four kids. Um, wow, that's amazing. Oh yeah, okay, and that just, finishes his thing. Now all of a sudden I've made more money than anybody in my family ever has. This last month I made more than the highest paid married couple in my family does on a monthly basis and their jobs required degrees and extensive training and a decade of working to get to where they are now and I obliterated their earnings. Wow. Okay, so that's, that is like one of my favorite kind of like examples. Um, I also have my friend here. You see, I have some more of my friends here that commented. I have my friend Alec Karuba, who grew his account from 14 BTC uh, to 21 BTC in less than two weeks by being involved with the course and group. Um, there's probably some other comments in here as well. Um, but uh, yeah, just to show you. Um, and there's, there's a whole bunch more I can't, that, that I start thinking and remembering more other people here that have just had incredible results and it's pretty much countless. It's just more and more people are joining this group of people who are joining the course, taking action, learning, learning and taking action and getting results and changing their lives. I'm pretty much sure that uh, most of you guys here and, and, and let me know in the chat. I mean, you would like to, to take something like Five hundred dollars worth of uh, started, you know, with bitcoins. Put it in the, the exchanges, and then 
six weeks later get twelve twelve thousand dollars back i mean uh what would you would, would that be a good start for you as as a beginner trader i mean you, you can make much more obviously but turning five hundred dollars into like twelve thousand dollars would that be a pretty amazing um couple of weeks let me know guys <laughs> and uh i just want to uh, take a moment to collab and and show people how they can get started with this and then we're going to come back to uh, the questions that that people ha uh, have and uh we're going to finish this uh, strong okay so okay. i'm going to share my screen if you can come back uh, uh, live here and stop sharing yours so sharon says it's a really good start <laughs> um Susie says it's a, it's, it's a really good start, you know, from 500 to 12,000. I, I think it is too. So I'm going to share my screen. Um, and here we go. One sec. Screen. One sec. Let me log in uh, to Bitcoin Swells Club. So this is the system that I've created, guys, to really help you uh, make multiple streams of income with bitcoins to teach you and educate you about how to grow your wealth with bitcoins i have a lot of strategies here inside uh this section including the the bitcoin passive income opportunities and stuff like that now in this training section right here we are all focusing on trading cryptocurrencies and this is as you've seen right now the opportunity is major uh to to profit greatly with with learning this skill and uh there is no better person i can i can think of than uh, collab to really teach you this stuff and uh, also give you a little review here on the again what collab already showed you what you're getting with this course and this is how you can get access to this so when you log in inside when you click on trading cryptocurrencies you're going to see a button here click here to learn more about bitcoin lifestyle club trading course so when you're going to click on that button right here, it's going to open up a, a new window. And uh, and here is where you're going to click on uh, let me in or join button, right? So when you click on one, either one of those, it's going to take you to the complete the form. Uh, so you're going to put in your, your first name, last name, Facebook. I think it's just to ver verify, you know, and communicate with you. Uh, you're going to set up your username, your email address, your phone number, and here you're going to choose some of the uh, options. Uh, either getting just the, the, tra the crypto trading course for 0.1 Bitcoins, which is really uh, awesome price and awesome deal for, for everything you're getting. Also, you can get a uh, Facebook lead generation mastery. I think you, you've done some modules collab right on the, on the lead generation part of things on Facebook um if you if you want to get get access to this you can do that or, or get a full access bundle with basically both of them and giving giving you this at a discount so either of those or just the crypto trading course is fine and then you're going to send your bitcoin payment to this address and uh, once you do so you're going to put here the transaction id collect so maybe you can clarify on that for a sec um what they put here the ID is is generated when you send the bitcoin and basically you go to your uh say if you're in coinbase or if you're in blockchain you go to your transactions you can open up the details of the transaction and there will be a link there that allows you to click over and get the transaction id which is a long string of uh, letters and numbers that will uh, be also on the page that you go to when you click over and also in the url as I'm adding a video shortly today at the top of this page that will show you uh, how to go through this registration form and also how to get your transaction ID. So you can see it visually as well. Okay, cool. That's uh, that's going to be added here, but it's really uh, something like a, a transaction ID of every uh, um, wallet you have. So, and then you're going to click here and uh, um, and then the referred by option. This is optional, actually, right? Yeah, that's an optional field. Actually, the software tracks the referrals coming through, but I just barely added this affiliate software to the course, and and uh, there might still be some people who might come leaking through from my other affiliates 
who maybe have not signed up for the affiliate link yet. So there they have the ability to still write in their name, take that off the form at some point in the future once that, uh, probably sometime in the next couple of weeks, but it's there right now um, as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you basically, basically, if you come and join this from, from inside the Bitcoin Swallows Club, you don't need to fill this out because whoever referred you to the Bitcoin Swallows Club they're they're going to get the credit for this. Um, again, we are we are allowing you to to really uh, enjoy multiple streams of income here as you are educating yourself about Bitcoin. So once you submit, it's going to take about twenty four to forty eight hours uh, to get your login information, right, Caleb? I, I think it may, may, maybe uh, like for every everybody who is right now on this uh, on this training live. I mean, we we are going to uh, give you access to the course uh, right away. Um, right, Caleb? Yeah, you know, as soon as that the Bitcoin payment that you send in becomes confirmed, I'm usually right on it. I give the 24 to 48 hours just because, you know, I might, in case, just in case I'm traveling, I need to stop somewhere, open up the laptop and get the uh, new uh, memberships processed. I just need a little bit of time sometimes to be able to get in there and see that. But as soon as I see the Bitcoin payment confirmed with the first confirmation, I usually go through and uh, membership uh, access email that right over to you as well as also an email invite to our private chat group on slack so just kind of take care of it in a methodical way uh, like that awesome awesome um, I also send you uh, I'm going to stop the sharing of my screen this was club yet um, I put in a link uh, up there in the chat that you can get access to. But if you are part of the Bitcoin Swallows Club, just log it inside. You're going to see it under the trading cryptocurrencies section. Um, so it's very simple uh, to do. And then basically what people can expect, the, the moment that they, um, they they do this, they get access to the course, what, what would they expect in terms of like, you know, how long it would take them or what they should like, how they can plan to like devour all this stuff like what are their first action steps should be yeah I'm, I'm gonna say it's gonna depend on where that you're starting if you're a complete newbie coming in you're you're just gonna want to start at the base level in the beginning in the in the when you uh log into your account uh you go to the bitcoin section that's where the training for the crypto course is available on that first overview page it has that syllabus like I went through with you guys, notice that there's a note that says to go through the videos in order. So especially if you're a complete newbie coming in, you're just gonna wanna start at the beginning and, and move forward logically through the course at your own pace. And you don't have to go through all the way to the end, through all the technical analysis and all the advanced training, just go through and you'll see that as you go through the beginning parts, you'll start to teach you through the actual doing of things and you'll be able to, and I would say do that and, and and also right away, take the email invite to the private chat group and get in Slack right away. Slack is an app that you'll have to download from slack.com and the email that you get will have the details for that and allow you to log in. Because that way you can also be in top of the conversation of uh, our group right away. And also uh, if you have questions in there, I'll feel free to ask questions in there. Um, and it's a, it's a fun community and it's a, it's a place where there's no question, there's no dumb question. Okay. Awesome, absolutely. So go get started, go into the, the, the basic videos up there, set up your uh, exchange on the Poloniex or, or Bitrex, you know, put some Bitcoins in there and uh, you are going. don't need to go into the advanced stuff, but the, definitely join right away the, the Facebook group and the, the Slack group you know, to, to get inside the community, to get into know, to actually shortcut, you know, the, the learning curve, so to speak, and to get straight away into, you know, what's hot right now. What it's, it's yeah. always cheap. You know, what, what are the coins to, to get right now? What's awesome investment opportunities that the members of the community have spotted. So you want to be in the know. I mean, the, the people that you surround yourself with, uh, that's going to drive your wealth. You surround yourself with millionaires you're going to become a millionaire. So that's that's a really awesome thing. Now, uh, guys, if you have any questions right now, is, is, a, is a great time to ask. We're going to hit them all off, and I promise we're going to answer every question that we have. I have uh, some of them already uh, from before, 
that, uh, that we are going to answer right now. One of them is, uh, how do you cash out? Uh, Rafal is asking like, okay, I'm doing my, my profits. How do I cash out on that? Right. Yeah, absolutely. So two ways of cashing out. Okay. Cash out, say, if you want to take the money off of the exchange, put it into a wallet for safekeeping. There's that form of cashing out. Then there's cashing out. Most people are probably wondering about, okay, that's where you get it out to cash the actual fiat money into your bank. Um, depending on where you are in the world, there are different exchanges that interface with your bank. One of the biggest ones that is around a large portion of the world, basically in the United States, is called Coinbase. And so you would basically just perform a withdrawal from either exchange that you're using or from if you're keeping your coins in a wallet outside of an exchange and you want to liquidate those, um, then you can, so, well, if it's altcoins, you would send them to the exchange and you would trade it for Bitcoin and you would take that Bitcoin and you would send it to Coinbase or whatever exchange is appropriate for where in the world that you are located and you would perform a market sell of Bitcoin for whatever the current rate is and the money would then go via ACH bank transfer to your bank account within probably a couple of days. And so that would that would be the process from altcoins through to Bitcoin out to fiat. And of course now with Coinbase, and I don't know about other exchanges if they let you liquidate to USD from the other options other than Bitcoin, but I know with Coinbase in particular, you can actually exit Ethereum to US dollar or other currencies that Coinbase is functioning with around the world, or Litecoin to U.S. dollar as well. So those are kind of like the on-off ramp to fiat is the, uh, the Bitcoin, the Litecoin, the Ethereum, and on the exchanges that process those for that purpose, which Coinbase does those three, but all exchanges does definitely Bitcoin to fiat. Awesome. Uh, so it's very easy to cash out um, with, uh, with your profits. Now, Troy is asking about the Tezos uh, ICO. Have you heard something about this? Uh, what's the name of it? How do you spell it? Is that on the right? Is it on the right there? T E O S Tezos. T E T E Z O S. Yeah. yeah I haven't heard like of that. that one. No, I have not heard of that one actually. Yep. Most interesting ICO that I've seen recently that just passed was the uh, 10X, 10X ICO. It's this new uh, debit card that's being launched that supports multiple cryptocurrencies to be loaded onto it. Their goal is to like, basically have any of the relevant, any and all of the relevant cryptocurrencies be interfacing with 10X. And 10X also had a uh, token that they launched in regard to this called 10X. And... Uh, yeah, that was an in, that was a very interesting ICO that just passed that we were discussing in our uh, ICO uh, research channel in the uh, private chat group, and we look over ICO opportunities on a regular basis as people drop the links to what they find in there. We analyze those according to a number of factors to determine whether it's a solid, a possibly solid ICO to invest in or not. Factors like uh, what innovations, um, what, what's the team that's behind it, who's on the team, and, and the all factor factors, how much money, how much of a proportion of the actual money of, that's being raised by the ICO is being kept by development, because that's a part of the value proposition that you have to look at, um, because a lot of ICOs can be really unfair, the amount of money that is kept by development. So that's something that a lot of people just don't know. Yeah, a lot of movies that are looking at ICOs. White paper is important to look at because there was a coin that launched via ICO on the Ethereum blockchain within past months called Bancor, B-A-N-C-O-R, and that's turned out to be the biggest joke. Um, I was I didn't like actually study that one when it came out, but I knew about it. I had people that come and you're like, oh, what's up with that Bancor? I'm like, oh, no. I don't know anything about Bancor. And next thing I know, I'm like seeing all of this. Someone made a very funny post, and they pointed out that, uh, and they showed like how that being plummeted, like plummeted so much all at once. Um, okay. Because I think more and more people that had invested re ended up looking at the white paper and see there's only 40 lines of code for that coin bank, or that's not a thing to invest in. You know? Right. 
right. a lot of these you, just you, complex you, things, you know, code took time to make, you know, not just like it's Bancor, okay, let's invest in it. <laughs> it's got 40 lines of code. <laughs> but I think people just dumped it, they dumped it real hard. So the research in the ICO is important. Um, unfortunately, I don't know anything about that one that you asked. Awesome. So that's a, another good thing and reason and to be part of that uh, Slack group and be part of this uh, community to uh, be able to quickly run any uh, investment ideas, uh, coins uh, or ICOs by the other members who are passionate about, you know, trading cryptos and you can, um, you know, you can be more confident about about your moves. Definitely. It's not not being by yourself. It's, it's by by itself very very valuable we have it done as before you know uh, about the exchanges for uh, poloniex or, or bitrex how safe it is to really keep the, the money there on those exchanges so it, it's it's pretty safe if you're using two-factor authentication i've had no problems there um myself personally um you need to use two-factor authentication with it not just your mobile phone number, you're gonna to want to use an application like Google Authenticator or LastPass Authenticator or something really solid like we're out there, but not not using two-factor authentication through a text message that comes to your phone because that's actually pretty hackable. Um, you need to be using a, a, a mobile app for that. And you also need to secure your email accounts that are attached to your cryptocurrency exchange accounts and any any important accounts that are financial um, because those are another area where you can get hacked and can then find your login information and passwords and stuff like that and so of course in the course I teach about properly securing your account that's most key because I will admit that over the past few years I have had two people that I've uh, um, had it that I've known of that have mentioned about their accounts being hacked and losing like all their money on the exchange or like most of the money of money. And in, in both of those scenarios, both of those people did not have two factor authentication enabled. Okay. So that's so key to have your account properly secured and uh, to be using just properly, just to be really careful online in general. Um, we are uh, with your basically like, like the, the probability of having uh, issues with a, a large exchange like that are pretty, pretty uh, uh, low, like very, very low. You know, you, you get your account secure. I mean, there are millions in trades happen there. So it's fairly exchange. One thing I will add, and I think you'll agree with me on that, collab. you know, um, once you are going to make your, your big profits, it makes sense to you some of the profits take from the exchange and put it into the cold storage, you know, into uh, in the Ledger Nano S or, or, or Trezor, you know, just put your Bitcoins uh, there out of the exchange and, and keep it uh, private, your, your, your private mm -hmm. keys, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't keep, keep the money the if you want to. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't keep all the money they, on the exchange. Yeah, you need to diversify where you're holding your money. It's, it's called counterparty risk, and the exchange is the counterparty, and they're responsible for your coins. While they're on the exchange, exchanges have been changes, have failed, and people have lost all their money um, in the past. Okay, so it's important, like you're saying, like Vitaly is saying, as that you're profiting, as you're getting into these coins, as you're getting these long term seeds, you know, pull them off into the coins respective wallet or if the coin has an option to be on Ledger Nano X or Trezor to the most popular wallets that are out there, then move them onto those devices. And I would say move whatever you can onto the cold storage wallet devices because they're all around the safest option for the long term storage of your cryptocurrency. And only keep what you're regularly needing to trade with on the exchange. Now, as you as you grow, this can actually turn out to be a lot of money. Like for me, I have a lot of money off the exchanges, you know, and I regularly have over a hundred between hundred and two hundred Ks worth of money on the exchange. But I have so much more that's off the exchange. I didn't need that much on the exchange to do the trading I like to do, you know. But uh, with that in regard, I've pulled off as much as I can into the cold storage and other wallets and 
massive value. You know, I mean, you understand we've spoke of like my portfolio value before. So it seems like I'm keeping about between 10 and 20% of my portfolio value on the exchange at a time at this point. That is awesome. Um, Sharon is asking about uh, like uh, you were asking Sharon about Google Authenticator and Google Authenticator. This, this is what you can use. It got for, quiet, Vitaly. I can't hear you. I, uh, it was I, quiet. I, I, Sharon was asking about the uh, last last uh, uh, Authenticator. I think this is what she uh, meant. Um, you know, oh, to last pass Authenticator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. The last pass authenticator is actually an authenticator option, um, and I and I, I link to it in the course and uh, have it recommended there. I prefer it over the Google Authenticator because it actually has uh, security to be able to enter the app on your phone. So okay, you have your phone, which you know may have thumbprint security or a pin for you to even open your phone to get to the apps, okay? But past that, um, then you can enter the apps that don't have passwords or some sort of security to enter the app. So Google Authenticator, while still great, and we'll do the trick, you can open it right up. Once you're in your phone, you can open it right up and you have access to those codes. With the last awesome. pass Authenticator, <clears throat> you actually have to use a, a thumbprint or a fingerprint, an additional time to be able to, once you pull the app up, to then enter the app and access the codes, or you can use a six-digit PIN code number, alternatively. You have those two options to be able to open the app. So it's another layer of security that makes it even harder for you to get hacked um, through the LastPass option. Yeah, definitely. You don't, you don't want to, um, you know, if somebody takes your phone and they, they, they go into the Google Authenticator and they see, oh, you have... You know, you have uh, Poloniex there, and they easily can enter. Maybe potentially, you know, uh, other other than Google Authenticator, uh, uh, like you, you need to have your username and password, obviously, for people to log in inside. Never save uh, your just... username and password in your browser's phone when it asks. That's another thing. Um, uh, yeah. I uh, we're getting on the top of the two hours here, guys. If you have any more questions, uh, this is the time to, to ask. Otherwise, we're going to wrap it up. Um, we have another question by Idan. Do you export Bitcoins to exchange to trade? And after the trading, you are import the money to the Trezor device or leave the money on the... I think we answered that one uh, already, Idan. Uh, yeah, like you, you, you want to keep some that you want to use on the exchange and, and others you are um you know going going and, and getting out to the treasure okay yeah. so i think we have answered all the questions other uh, if i'm going to see something coming in, in the next uh, minute or so if you guys have a questions uh right now ask them because we are we are getting here uh, on the top of the two hour mark i i i think collab it was an amazing training today i mean open mind for so many uh people watching this and watching the replay afterwards i mean what is possible with cryptocurrency trading the potential is huge here you know um you can go invest into coins they go rise in value by by 10 times or 100 times and in some cases they were more than that and uh you know knowing which coins to 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 get into and when to buy when to sell and be part of the community like you have created this is really awesome and valuable it's one of the um one of the exciting ways today to create walls with bitcoins and i can tell you guys that you know as we move uh, along here in the in the history in the development we already have wallets that support multi coins which means you can you can download an app and you can have multiple different cryptocurrencies including bitcoin sitting inside your app like your mobile bank and you can write within the app you can do exchanges one coin to 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 another i mean this is where the direction that we are going to and there is uh, also uh, you know uh, many uh, merchant services out there that start accepting not just and not just bitcoin but other coins like dash and, and and hundreds of more and this is where we are really going to like you're going to see that you can buy different things online with Bitcoin, with Ethereum, 
was Litecoin, you know, was was all of those different options uh, that that will be available. So uh, this is the direction we, we are going as as a society, guys. You know, as as the this is the money of the internet, and uh, it's not need to be approved by anybody. But if the internet adopts it, if people are using the apps, they're downloaded. You know, the 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 value is 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 going up. The more people use it, you know. Um, the, the 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 more people start to to buy into those coins, the its value is going to keep rising, and people need this. You know, people need uh, this this whole revolution happen for a reason because people are 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 you know they're tired to uh, rely on the fiat a currency that is controlled by the government by the banks. You know, the 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 purchasing value of the dollar is depreciating. Uh, 98 percent since the last uh you know since 1913 when the federal reserve uh, bank was uh created so th we see the the rise uh the the drop in value for all the paper money and the currencies that are in being inflated and being printed uh over and over and people are moving over you can actually watch it live millions of dollars i've seen between 30 to 80 million dollars every single day are pouring into bitcoins because you know people want that people want to be independent to own the coins to be in control of it um that nobody can 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 take it and seize it and they can do whatever they want with it um you know on a global basis so uh this is the people power like sharon says here in the chat i absolutely agree uh, so exciting times Absolutely, man. So on point. Awesome. Everything you just so, said. Um, I can't believe two hours has gone by. It's been such an incredible conversation. Like I'm just very passionate about this. And two hours can just like fly by whether I'm on a webinar with you just discussing all this amazing uh, information about the industry or whether I'm on a phone call with somebody who just wants to talk about it. Man, time can really go by when we talk about this subject because it is just very exciting. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, I, I thank you so much, Caleb, for, for showing up here, for teaching uh, all of uh, our members of Bitcoin's Wealth Club and the community. Uh, you, you know what you need to do to get started on the course. It's an amazing value. You can click right down below this video to get this started and, uh, and start educating yourself about how to be a, a trader and how to get involved into cryptocurrency trading and get amazing results. Uh, like other people uh, before you uh, have done. So uh, thank you for being here. Thank you, Caleb. And uh, we're wrapping it up and uh, we're going to see you in future videos. Talk thank to you, you everybody. Thank you, Vitaly. Appreciate you. Appreciate you all. And uh, look forward to connecting with you. So good day. Thank you. Thank you.